pound per square inch per square inch so it matters if your values are not straight it's not deep the first storm that comes will pull you out of the business it will destroy your tent you know Luke chapter 4 for 6 46 48 says you know whoever comes to me and hears my saying and does them I will show you whom he is like he's like a man building a house dug deep dug deep laid the foundation on the rock and when the flood arose the stream beat vehemently against that house and could not shake it for it was founded on the rock you know what are the foundation that strengthens you to this day? What do you believe about your life, about reality, about your call? If they are just, you know, family tradition, you know, your own thinking, it is yet to be filtered and approved by the principle of the Word of God. You know, and the Bible says heaven and earth will fade, but His Word will still remain. It means the truth that will remain the same, that will not be out of date, out of style, will be the values of the Word of God. So I want to challenge you this morning. Let's strengthen our stakes. You know, these are the five simple stakes that I think we can build on. You know, I took this from the Purpose Driven Life Manifesto because I think there's no need to perfect what's already working and good. You know, God is calling us into worship. Worship is prayer, word, worship. This will be your stake that drives you to the ground, connects you to God, keep you centered, keep you balanced. God is calling you for fellowship, relationship. Don't leave your life alone. Ecclesiastes says two are better than one. If one fall, the other can lift you up. But pity are you who fell and got no help, no relationship, no one to help you, no one to hold you accountable, no one to challenge your mind. God is calling you to discipleship because you are to be trained, you are to be mentored. It's just, the Bible says the, the house of God, we are likened to the living stones that are used to build the house of God. The way stones are used to build the house is that it's being piled one on top of another. I have a mentor for me. I also have disciples under me. How about you? Do you have somebody who mentor you or you go by online? Oh, yeah, Pastor. Stephen Fertig, bro. Oh, he's got the word like a knife to butter to my heart. Yeah, but Stephen Fertig don't know you. There's no such thing as disciples on demand. Who knows you? Who can challenge you to see whether what you have heard from him really, really changed you? Or it just decorate your social media appearance? You know things doesn't make you that thing. How many of you understand? You know it doesn't make you that thing. Doesn't change you. It's just having more knowledge. Discipleship. Some things in life, you will not enter a certain dimension until you are discipled. Ministry is your way of developing yourself, enlarging yourself. Serving other people, serving God and serving other people. Don't say, oh, just between me and Jesus. Until you serve others, you don't know what loving Jesus is. Alright, and last but not least, evangelism. God is calling us to a mission. God is calling us to preach the gospel to all nations. God is calling us to speak about the good news that we have embraced so that the world will see, the world will know about Christ. Amen? So church, this morning, it's all about developing inner capacities. The oil stop multiplying when you no longer has the capacity to contain it. At the end of the day, those who build their inner man will become the one who will change the world, transform nations, become change agent. You will not be able to do it if you're not going to be honest with your own self and your own circumstances. And I pray this morning, you know, that you will pay attention to this. Enlarge your desire, you know. Don't hold back, you know. Think big. Lengthen your courts. Build positive connection, you know. Strengthen your stakes. All these things, it's, it, it matters. You know, it matters. Let this be the courts. Let, let this be the stakes, uh, the building blocks that will cause you to continue to grow. I pray this morning God will speak more into you. I pray that you will embrace this. I pray that this will transform you, propel you into this desire. You got to own it to build your inner capacity within. Father, I have no doubts in your willingness and ability to bless us, to fill us. You are in the business of filling us. 
But Lord, I know that before you can fill us more, before there will be more increase, Many times, oh God, we have got to work within our inner capacities. Holy Spirit, I pray this morning that this word will sink deep within the heart of every believer that can listen to the sound of my voice this morning. That we will own it. That we will, we have got to want to grow. We have got to want to do this. To build our inner man. To build our inner capacity. Oh God. So that we don't let the oil stop flowing within our life because we no longer have the capacity to contain it. But I pray this morning, oh God, that you will stir up the heart of your people, every believer in this house, that they will receive your word, that this will challenge them, oh God. As you call us this year to enlarge. You call us this year, O oh God, to not be the same, O oh God. How far we will go, how much we can achieve, how accomplished and fulfilled we will be in life will depend so much in the capacity of our life. Help us, O oh God, as you have developed Paul, Abraham, Moses, and so many others. Help us, O oh God, to receive this challenge, to own this, and to say to you, Here am I, Lord. I'm open, Lord. Help me to grow my capacity. Holy Spirit, speak to me. What are the wrong attitudes? What are the wrong mindset? What are the wrong things that have been keeping me in bondage and prisons? And help me, Lord Jesus. Whatever change necessary, whatever it takes. Because I know that I'm yearning to go into the next dimension. I'm yearning to go into the next phase of my life. And now you are faithful to your word. You have done your part. And I must do my part. So I pray in the name of Jesus, faith will arise. Hope will thrive in this place in Jesus' name. Amen.